Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract. The antechamber in this case is very shallow, and the convexity of the anterior surface of this cataractous lens is very high. So I am thinking that there is a high possibility of Argentine flag sign in this case. Let us observe this surgery. By this time the main incision and a side port on the right side of the main incision has been made. An air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. And now tripan blue 0.06% dye is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble and the dye is applied directly over the anterior capsule. The dye is swept from one side to the other side so that there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule. And now the dye is washed out from the ocular surface and from the anterior chamber. Sometimes some dye will get hidden under the iris if you don't wash it out and that may be a possibility of toxic anterior segment syndrome. So better to wash the dye out. And the antechamber has been filled up with SPMC, not sodium hyaluronate. One more side port has been made on the left side of the main incision and now the main step. At this time, hold the eyeball firmly with the tooth forceps at the limbus. Introduce the needle. Make a puncture and immediately curve. Do a curved movement. Make a C-flap. Hold this capsular tag. Go anticlockwise. And do a small axis. See, at this time, it was tending to go to periphery. But since I aimed at a small axis, I could bring it back and I have been able to do a small axis. And now the intralenticular pressure is to be reduced. I am using a Simco cannula to aspirate some cortical matter. There are many surgeons in Europe and America where Simcoe cannula will not be there on the trolley. So you can do this. You can just use the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and just irrigate. You don't have to aspirate. And just irrigate. And this movement will remove a lot of cortex from the back it will come out and through the main incision it will come out because of the flow of BSS so a lot of cortical matter has come out loose cortex it is getting first it is coming out into the anterior chamber and then it is coming out through the 2.8 millimeter wound out of the eye. So this is a good way of reducing the intralenticular pressure if you don't have this instrument, a Simco cannula. But please keep a Simco cannula in your trolley. It is a very safe instrument and it helps in many steps a lot. And now, 2% SPMC is injected again. The intralenticular pressure has been reduced nicely. And now the antechamber is filled up with this visco. A vana scissor is taken and a small cut is made obliquely not radially. 
you make the cut here it will be oblique but if you make the cut at towards five o'clock it will be a radial radial cut so make the cut at around eight o'clock or seven o'clock and make a oblique cut and pull this capsular tag go anti-clockwise and enlarge the mini rexis into an optimum size rexis at this time it will not tend to go to periphery and now is the time to manage the nucleus the machine being used is Faro's from Oatley and now this is 450 vacuum and 45 ml per minute flow rate and I'm going to do direct chop the handpiece is turned, bevel is off, the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus goes up to the center of the nucleus holds the nucleus firmly and the chopper is used to chop it and we find that the nucleus is soft and see what happens I could not hold it and I could not chop this so what I can't do is I come to one end of this hemineucleus carousel it and bring it out this is the other hemineucleus it is tilted and chopped and we find that the nucleus is white and soft yes the nucleus has been managed the rest of the surgery is edited cortical cleanup has been done very nicely and after cortical cleanup it looks like this and after intraocular lens implantation the case appears like this thank you very very much for your attention hope this video will help you in managing intermittent cataracts if you don't have a Simco cannula in your trolley you can use the irrigating probe of bimanual IA just irrigate the capsular bag cortical matter will come out that will reduce the intralenticular pressure inject visco make a cut at the margin of the minirexis enlarge the minirexis into an optimum size trexis and continue the surgery thank you very very much